in Ann Arbor during the pregame the players the fans ushered out of Michigan Stadium and boy the rains did come down the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors in to take on the Michigan Wolverines and a little bit of history the latest kick in Michigan football history Jake Moody will kick it off and get us started. And football is here under the lights at Michigan Stadium. The 12th night game at Michigan Stadium. Hand off to the running back, Dietrich Parson, who is stopped by this Michigan defense. Second and nine after a gain of one. And again to Parson. They'll bring the pressure on third and seven. We saw him do it in week one against Colorado State. And they bring the numbers. Pocket closing. Hit hard from behind. And the ball rolls out of play. It's a palpable energy, isn't it? Oh, baby. I'm ready to run through a brick wall. <laughs> A.J. Henning back to receive. Michigan close to blocking that punt. And Henning trying to field this play, spins away from a tackler and brought down at about the 33-yard line. And the first start as J.J. McCarthy trots out here on the field. We've seen him in spot duty. In fact, his numbers last week against Colorado State reflect really his short career here at Michigan. Just spot duty here for the Wolverines. But getting an everyday snap in a first start is a way different mentality, as we all know. First play from scrimmage. Big run from Coram. Blake Coram breaks one and crosses the 45 and into Hawaii territory. It's a first down. Flag on the play. Hawaii, this is the first one of the game. Larry Smith is our referee. Tom Fiedler is our replay official up here in the booth. It's a gain of 24 what, on this play. Look at that right side of the offensive line behind your two bruising tight ends. And then Blake Coram was challenged by Mike Hart to make a guy miss. Just jukes the safety out of his shoes and extends that play. This was a beautiful, beautiful scheme, beautiful execution by the Michigan offense. Let's see if they can keep it going. McCarthy pulls. He's going deep. The catch is made. The Honolulu native takes a bow. Roman Wilson for the touchdown. Jake Moody for the extra point. Just like that, 7 nothing Michigan. J.J. McCarthy was still able to maintain his zen and positive attitude despite a mojo-killing rainstorm that two hours prior to kickoff. That was supposed to be at 8 o'clock. McCarthy was down here on the field meditating in a closed leg position for about 10 minutes. Then the rainstorm happened, and everything went up into the tunnel, and that's when Michigan and Hawaii took turns watching the Tennessee game. Now this Hawaii offense will begin its second drive from the 25-yard line. Yelling at quarterback. Gave Parson a heavy dose of carries on that first drive, but just like that first drive, Parson not going anywhere. Negative yardage. Yelling with time to throw that time, but it's up and over. Third and long once again, Lisa. Let's see this Michigan pass rush. They're showing pressure once again. They bring four. Short pass. Again, going nowhere. A couple of three and outs here for this Hawaii offense. A.J. Henning again back to receive. Third team all Big Ten as a returner last year. And he lets that one just die at the 39-yard line. the sideline there. Blake Corp gets another touch. Second and eight. Pick up of two on that Corum run. Now back to throw. 
And finding Ronnie Bell for a big game. Splits the defenders across the 40. A total of 73 yards already here in the air. We know he's got a big arm. We know he can run it. And certainly showcasing some of that as he drops it over to one of his tight ends, Eric All. Quorum is still your back. They give it to him. He's got a straightaway run. Hesitation makes his way into the red zone. Motion by Bell. Cora shutting off some tacklers and is brought down at the three yard line, right at the sticks. McCarthy directing. Trying to push his way through to the goal line and just short. Goal line offense on first and goal. The handoff up and over and Corum is in for a Michigan touchdown. Jake Moody with the extra point. A school that recruits four and five star guys, you're going to have talent at every position. He has laid it out for his two guys to make a case to be a starter in week three. Pass play on the third series here for Whitey on second and ten after the incomplete pass and just miscommunication. Third and long situation. Michigan brings four. Pass complete, staying on his feet, and the first first down for Hawaii. And Pinoke's 10th catch here of the season. Yellen will sidearm pass, and that pass is broken up that time. And a shutout and picking up where it left off in week one against Colorado State. Second and 10. And Hawaii having no luck on the ground that time. From the shotgun, Yellen gets rid of it. And no play is made well out of the reach of his intended receiver. And R.J. Moten coming there on the right side as well. Another punt here for Hawaii. Missing a tackle. Henning trying to make it go. A.J. Henning. Across the 50. And a huge return for one of the Big Ten's best returns. And starting this drive in Hawaii territory, rolling out that time, connecting with his tight end, Schoonmaker. They scored on 10 of their 12 possessions here this year. This Michigan offense has Donovan Edwards. There he goes. And there goes. J.J. McCarthy, Edwards was the running back. McCarthy showing off his wheels a little bit. Once again, this is their bread and butter. You're going to show the handoff, and there's the defensive end. Got his eyes in the backfield. J.J. knows to pull it, and you got your tight end, Eric Hall. Big physical guy, putting a hat on a hat out in space. His first carry for 16 yards, and first and 10 from the 20. Reverse play. Here's Wilson again. Wilson will take it in. He's got his second score. Looking real explosive. Moody is perfect in extra points. Honolulu native. His mom grew up in St. Ignace here in Michigan. Dad from Kalamazoo, but they both moved to Hawaii before he was born. And you look at the what he's been able to do here tonight. He's talked about how it's, it's a little surreal to take on Hawaii, a school and a program that he grew up watching. trying to move the ball in, in any way that they can. The Rainbow Warriors. Yellen trying to draw Michigan off sides. Won't work. A one-handed grab and nicely done by Jordan Murray. It's a gain of 13 and a first down play here for Hawaii. Trying to run maybe a quicker pace offense that's off the hands that time. Yellen to Parson. Brought down in the backfield. Well, Chang and Hawaii up against another third and long. Opportunity third and 12. And incomplete right at the 50-yard line. But, man, it was deflected by some Michigan defenders. One hopper. So far, A.J. Henning has wanted to field a lot of these punts, but that one rolls deep into Michigan territory. 
You can say what you want, man. These Hawaiian Rainbow Warriors, they play tough, and they're excited about this matchup. Well, deep in Michigan territory, Edwards gets the carry with a 9 o'clock Eastern start, pushed back because of the weather. It's about a 3 o'clock afternoon start for them. Off the hands that time, a perfect opportunity. Didn't get a hand on it. That's one Ronnie Bell should catch. He's a veteran guy, had it right in his hands. I know he expects to catch that. This is great. Let's see what J.J. does in an adverse situation. It's third and long. You're backed up to your own goal line. we got a timeout coming here for like Michigan. 14 of those 18 pass attempts were catchable. On third down, short pass play that time to Ronnie Bell, who does it, drops it. It was deflected. Had a helmet right on the ball and jarred it loose, but, I mean, really, there's, there's no excuse especially backed up in your end zone. If there's any saving grace, he jumped back on it and allowed your punt team, Brad Robbins, to take over. Yeah, I spoke too soon about him hanging on to the football. Kaulana Makaula poked it loose defensively for Hawaii. And out of the end zone, that was close. Caught at about 48. And in Wisconsin, upset by Washington State, there was many favorites to win the Big Ten West this year. A veteran Hawaiian offensive line is really struggling to protect some of those big boys on the Michigan defensive front. First and 10. Michigan beginning the last two series inside its own 10. And a handoff there to Coram, who has picked up one of the touchdowns here for Michigan tonight. On second and eight. McCarthy, again, he has been so successful in the air and goes right back to Bell. I like that call, and Bell hangs on. Certainly, I was just going to say the same thing, Lisa. The confidence to go right back to your guy and Ronnie Bell. You know, dropped the pass, had a fumble, but hey, we're going to come right back to you. And this time, Ronnie's just going to find that little soft zone. The offensive line gives J.J. such a good, clean pocket. He can really step in there and deliver a strike to Ronnie. I love it. Ronnie's one of your veteran guys. Seems like he's been playing here in Michigan for a number of years, coming right back to him to start the drive. Already over 100 passing yards here from McCarthy, who gives it right back to Cora. Ronnie Bell out there without a knee brace, showing the utmost confidence in his health. And so far, looking pretty good. Second and 10. They got him again. McCarthy keeps it deep downfield. Bell grabs it. Cornelius Johnson with the big pass connection right downfield. And sets up Michigan for a big play. How about ringing the bell with I'll Cornelius tell you what, Johnson? Here comes Ronnie across the field, and Cornelius Johnson, that safety plays Ronnie, so Cornelius Johnson gets behind the defense, and there you get to see the big, accurate arm of J.J. McCarthy. And a big play to set up this Michigan offense now inside the 15 with a chance to score. Fakes it to Edwards, a line shot for six. Ronnie Bell with his first touchdown of 2022. JJ's going to show a quick play action, and then right as he breaks, he's going to deliver a strike right on Ronnie Bell's helmet. Impossible targeting play. Okay. Well, things we learned this offseason. Clear intent and in leading with the crown of the helmet. I feel like that may check both of those boxes. At first, you got to determine if he's defenseless, right? And, and, I would and, and say catching, the, catching the pass or receiver attempting to catch a pass, which is what we have here with Bell. Correct. Makes him a defenseless player in my mind. So you need contact to the head or neck area. And it's, it's the first contact is that to the shoulder. After review, there's no foul for targeting. Okay. Number 25 to remain in the game. You have the try. And it's got to be because the first contact was to the shoulder, the shoulder and not yep. to the neck or head or neck area. Moody, still perfect for extra points. Jake Moody will kick off in a 28 to nothing advantage for Michigan. Fair catch call. Well, those numbers. The talent has shown, too, yeah. yeah. Those numbers and that one incomplete pass, let's not forget, that was a dropped exactly. pass that should have been caught. 
trying to chase that edge and count them three Michigan defenders hawking Harold again the first yep. it was expected to be a lopsided affair here in Ann Arbor and it's turning out to be exactly that yelling the starting quarterback out to the right side a hard hit and a heat seeking missile named DJ Turner got all over that third and six here for Hawaii. Pocket collapsing on the edges, and down goes Yellen. Mike Morris with the sack. Jesse Minter has got to be really pleased with what he's seen from this defense to start the game. Defensive coordinator Jesse Minter from Michigan. Fair catch call right at midfield. And he continues to build on it. It's Edwards who's got a crease and over to the 40, pushed out at the 30-yard line and the near sideline. Edwards now motioning. We know he can catch passes. We know he's a matchup night where he's got a linebacker he on him. A tough receiver at the bottom of your screen. They're going to go to him. airs it out to Edwards who rises up just short of the goal line. Up of 33. Nice call, Jake. I'll tell you what, Lisa, this is what you want. Football's a game of matchups. If you're going to put a linebacker on Donovan Edwards, Sharon Moore and Matt Weiss are going to go to that all day. J.J. McCarthy once again accurate, dropping the egg in the basket. They feed Edwards, hunting for the goal line. It's a Michigan touchdown. And let him finish the drive. Why not? You break a run, you catch a pass. We'll give you the touchdown, Donovan Edwards. But we love a beautiful pitch and catch. Look at this one. Not too many running backs in the country can do that so, so naturally. Look at the separation there on the Hawaiian linebacker. And then why not, Donovan? We'll throw the dog a bone. Go ahead and finish the drive with a touchdown. It's an all Edwards drive. Three plays, or three plays, 59 yards, a minute and 11 seconds. All Donovan Edwards, by the way, just a sophomore. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. And this Michigan defense has been awfully impressive. We've talked about the chip Jesse Minter shared with us, the, the chip that this defense is playing with, and there have been so much about what this defense had lost, right? Aiden yeah. Hutchinson being one. David Ojabo, Axe Hill, just to name a few. He, Minter's response to this defense, and he said this is the first thing he told him, we are team 143. Yeah. I don't need to find who's going to replace those guys. I need the best version of you this year. Yeah, and another thing he said, Lisa, is he said this defensive front felt disrespected, like they were nobodies. Now, you know, those Ojabo and Hutch, they got the majority of the snaps, but these guys across the D-line have experience, and now it's their chance to be a starter and put their mark in Michigan history. Smothered, it's Upshaw, the first to get to it. Taylor Upshaw on second and 10. Parson heads back the other way. Brings up third and eight. Sends it over to Parson. And a gain of about two on that play, well short of the first down. And another thing Jesse Minter talked about was he was so happy to see how many hats were flowing to the ball last week. And there's another one. Hawaii tries the screen, but you see five, six, seven winged helmets flying to the ball carrier. It's just quality team defense at this point. They're all, they heard the whole offseason. How are they going to replace all that talent? Well, they've sure looked good so far here early in the season. Henning again fields it. He's been looking to take one, and not that time. You see McNamara's numbers last week against Colorado State, and his first appearance that was scripted. We knew we would see him at some point here tonight. McNamara on his first snap is back to throw, and again finds a Ronnie Bell trying to chase down those sticks and brought down at the 40-yard line. We talked to quarterback coach Matt Weiss. You heard J.J. say it. These guys are friends. They support each other. They want to see each other win. Ultimately, it's about the team. 
and that's all either of these guys have done since they've been here. That's why Cade was elected captain as well. He is a leader of this team. Just one to go here for Michigan. Corum gets the handoff and the first down, and a little bit more tripped up across midfield. He'll be spotted just at the 37-yard line. Bread and butter Michigan football. Get some down blocks play side and get some guys pulling around and create some vertical seams for your good backs to run downhill. Coach Mike Hart challenged these two backs. Hey, you had some nice eight yard runs, some 10, 12 yard runs. I want you to break a tackle and start breaking off 20, 30, 40 yard runs. So far, so good for Blake Corum and Donovan Edwards. That was considerable. He's flirting with 100 yards maybe in the first half. He got rid of it in a hard hit. One of the better defenders, Panay Pavihi, laying down the lumber. Well, J.J. McCarthy, we've already seen it today. He provides that extra running element to your offense. McNamara back to pass and absolutely smothered that time. This Hawaiian defense hadn't had a sack yet on the season, Lisa. So, you know, it's a, it's a point of pride. Michigan is the first one to give up a sack to that Hawaiian defensive line. Jake, you said no sacks until here. Here's Blessman right here on the interior, and he's going against one of Michigan's best offensive linemen, one of their most experienced offensive linemen, Zach Zinner. Zach Zinner, he just oversets this, sets too laterally, and Blessman reads out of it. An experienced guy, never missed a start in his career, and he comes back underneath. Again, you know, it's not on K. Yeah. It's not on K. Well, even he, before that play, even before that play, Jake, a drop pass again yeah. for one of Cade's attempts not getting the pass protection that he needed on that play. And first down deep in Hawaiian territory. Like Sanders still blitzing, no? Yellen hands it off. On second and four. And a mistimed route was looking for Pinoke. A lot of fluidity right now in this roster here for Hawaii. Yellen getting chased out of the pocket. No choice but to try to give it away. Quarterback pressure coming from Michigan. Three and out on six of the eight possessions of this first half here for Hawaii. Situational football. Michigan's going to get this ball back with about two minutes left. You, know, you only get so many of those reps. It's going to be invaluable. Received at about the 50. And Hawaii on the hot pursuit. JJ speaking of that start, yeah, speaking yeah. of that starting quarterback, McCarthy's back in. He hands off to Stokes. Stokes breaks one down the left side. Over to the 31-yard line. You know, Lisa, I like my running backs to run a little angry. This hole is wide open. C.J. Stokes reads it. I like my running backs to run angry. That time, stiff arm, but how about this one? Running downhill, finishing the run. Low, violent pads. There's the stiff arm, and here's the finish. Boom, you can hear the pads cracking up here in the press box. Pickup of 22 for the first down. Stokes again, this time to the right side. Looking for some blockers. Gets across the 25-yard line. Jake, there's been so much talk about who's going to be that third back, right, for Michigan. And, and C.J. Stokes is maybe kind of making his his stamp in that spot right now. Well, they told us he's he's got the lead in this third running back spot. A track guy. He's got speed. He's got physicality. He's got everything you want. McCarthy to throw in the end zone. Cornelius Johnson. This is just, he's just playing such a good game. Stepping up in the pocket and delivering a strike. You can just see the chemistry. His accuracy has to be about 100% right now, Lisa. I haven't seen him miss a throw all day. Well, he's thrown seven straight passes, by the way. You've said it. McCarthy has looked fantastic here in this first half. 
fair catch call. Done it through the air. Done it on the ground. He only has one completion, and that was a drop. Lisa. One, yeah, one incompletion, right? The drop late in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. You know, even though J.J. had experience, he may not have had the game reps in these two-minute or late-game situations. So, to me, it wasn't about Cade. During the run, holding, offense, number seven. Ten-yard penalty, second down. Final play of the half. A 42 to nothing score here at halftime. Isaiah Gash, one of the Michigan players, back to receive the opening kick the second half. He's going to take it out of the end zone. Gash across the 10 yard line. Kate McNamara to start the second half here for Michigan. And the handoff there to Stokes. CJ Stokes. It's about halfway. Picks up a few yards. Picks up about three on that play. 410 yards in the first half. That's the most in the half under Jim Harbaugh. A lot of football left to be played. Cade McNamara in here at quarterback. I think they're still going to push the issue here. Second and seven. Rolling out McNamara with pressure in his face. And finds relief there from Matthew Hibner, the tight end. All right, move the chains. You got to move the chains here. Playbook's wide open. Do you run it? Dunlap is in for the first time, trying to push his way. Nothing going there up the middle. It's such a special place, man. I, I, I came in here as a, as a young boy, had no idea what was going on, no idea what this place would mean to me. Really played four years here. Went through adversity, went through growth, experienced some great times, met some of my best friends, met my fiance. You know, Lisa, I was thinking about this. They call it the big house. But, uh, you know, there's a difference between a house and a home. You know, when you go house shopping, it's a new build. It's just the drywall. There's not much going on, right? But a home, you have memories in. You know, it's, it's where you grew up. Yep. Yelling. And he's overshot his receivers. Parson takes it, the spin, getting closer to the sticks. He's still gonna be about three yards short of the first down. Looks like Jalen Perry is the player down for Michigan. Left ankle that might've gotten tied up in the field turf. There, yeah. perhaps. down the pass on the edge Mason Cram all over it he's an early enrollee he's a freshman came in in the winter impressed people early in the spring I believe Jake Jim Harbaugh said he was Delay a game. Delay a game. kicking team five yard penalty fourth down and push the punt back it is Jake Thaw who is back to return this punt for Michigan. We're going to see some substitutions here in this second half. Thaw fields it. Across the 20. Look at this. Look at this. There's a flag here on the near side right by the 30-yard line. And Thaw definitely made that one exciting. During the return, blocking the back, return team number 89. Half the distance from the spot of the foul, first down, media, timeout. At home against Penn State, you're at home against Michigan State. So it sets up nicely for them as they head into Columbus. Got to protect for Cade. Got to give him a chance here to get this offense going. You know, the O-line, got to take a sense of pride and, and protect your guy. Gives it to Stokes. This time, third and long. They're going empty. Cade's going to drop back and pass it. Let's see if the O-line can hold up. It's Dunlap in motion for Michigan. McNamara back to throw and checks it down to Colston Loveland. He's such a fluid route runner. It's one thing, you gotta be fast, but you gotta be agile. You gotta be able to change direction. You gotta make the easy catches. You have to catch in traffic. You have to be able to block. You know, for a young guy, he's shown some really, really great things early in his career. That catch for 10 yards, but short of the first down and fielded right about at the 45-yard line.
Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Good field position to start this drive here for Hawaii. Quick out pass. Second and five. And this Michigan defense, no matter who's on the field, has been staunch and strong here tonight. Second and 10, Hawaii trying to move this drive. They've moved it across midfield for the first time. And pushing it out of play. This defense wants a shutout. They expect championship level. Let's see how these guys perform. Third and four. Parson takes the handoff, and Hawaii is moving down the field and picks up another first down. And Hawaii's not going to roll over. You can say what you want. These guys play hard from the first snap to the last. They dealt with it. You know, they dealt with so much turnover from their roster, so much turnover from their coaching staff. Here's a guy, Dedrick Parsons. He's been there for a while. He's a Philadelphia guy. You ever met someone from Philly? They're tough. They're not going to give up. So this Hawaii team, they're going to test this Michigan defense down the stretch. They're not going to go down easy. Yelling to throw. And this Hawaii offense has looked impressive. James Phillips, double-digit catches for him so far this year. Back-to-back -back pass completions for Yellen. Again, back to throw. That's off the hands that time of Phillips. talked to Coach Klinkscale, and he said they did one-on-ones, receiver versus defensive back on Monday. Will Johnson was the first in line, the last in line. He took three times as many reps as the next guy. So to me, that's a very encouraging sign of the mindset of the talented five-star freshman, Will Johnson. Third and six on the best drive of the night for Hawaii. Looking for the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Under 30 guys on the sideline. Do you have room for one more? He was clocked at 13.7. 13.7. Maybe more of a linebacker, edge player, maybe not a, <laughs> maybe not a receiver, but. I love it. I love it. Iman Dennis this time will take a knee in the end zone. McNamara dropping back and picked off. It's just one on one coverage here with Andrew Anthony, a guy who you know, both these guys trust to make a play down the sideline. Just kind of just came up a little short. It, it didn't look like he stepped fully into that throw there. Yellen hands off Jordan Johnson with his first take. It's a big one and a big hit at the end of that run. Picks up the first down. Will Johnson showing you a little bit of what he can do. Yeah. Known for his coverage skills. That's why they brought him in. But that time, a nice physical tackle. Yellen tries to float it up and again overshoots his receiver. It's a lot of momentum in this Michigan program right now. Ohio State saying clean. They're neck and neck here early in the season. Micah Vanderpool was the player from Hawaii who walked off the, the field before we took that timeout. Oh, nearly intercepted. Will Johnson almost got a pace. And he had some uh, turf to work with if he could snag that one. His teammates giving him a little, little shove, eh, Will? Look at all. Let's get the first the one, eh? You get the first one, get the butterflies. I remember my first catch now. It wasn't an interception. My heart was beating out of my dang chest. Get the first one out of the way. You know, he's gonna, that's, that's what, you know, he's gonna play, get a lot of reps this second half, settle in the game. How about down here? Who's number one, Lisa? Amarian Walker. Amarian Walker. We're in the number one. To no one on third and 10 there for Hawaii. Who's that guy? He's got a nameplate on there. <laughs> well, he wears number four on offense. 
But they said, hey, this guy's so talented. Even as a freshman, we feel you can, we feel you can handle more on your plate. So talk about trust from your coaches. Got more defensive reps this week than he had. But being a two-way player is something that they've talked about. Good punt there for Hawaii. Pins it inside the 10. And Stokes takes the handoff from our third Michigan quarterback that we'll see. I'm really excited to watch David War Davis Warren play. Going to keep it. Going to pick up a first down and a little more. You know, you always th that first first down is so critical to get your drive started. That time Davis Warren doing it with his feet. A pickup of 11. Stokes with that hesitation. Amarion Walker back in on offense. We're in the number four. The quick shout out to the equipment team down there. He's just he's just trying Gary, to keep us on our toes. Sonny, a couple guys I knew from my time working in overtime. This is their Super Bowl, rotating jerseys. You know, Jim said he's excited to see some of these young receivers, so I'm looking for them to take some shots downfield and give their guys a chance to see what they're made of. Warren taking a deep shot. Warren connects. Michigan is off and running. Oh! And Max Bredesen with a huge pickup on the pass play. Let's get it right here in the second window. Davis Warren delivering a strike in between three defenders, and then Bredesen rumbling, tumbling, stumbling. Just needed one guy to beat. I thought he had the touchdown, but. Michigan up big over Hawaii as we start the fourth quarter. And right as the third quarter ended, quarterback Davis Warren threw his first ever career completion for 56 yards. That's a pretty hefty first career completion. And perhaps nobody on the sideline was more excited for him than quarterback J.J. McCarthy. He was jumping on the sidelines, high-fiving everybody as they got off the field. Jay Stokes cuts it back for another Michigan touchdown. I'll tell you what, this guy, C.J. Stokes, has showed some really, really great things today. Follows his blocker up through the hole, and then right here, the moment of contact, I'm gonna deliver my, I'm gonna deliver the blow around the goal line. There he is celebrating. Mike Hart said he's really excited about this young running back, C.J. Stokes. He's got a track background. Yeah, he's got the speed, but he runs with a physicality and a violence. They know what it means to be a Michigan man. They understand the history of this program. Again, little subtle changes in the staff in the past couple years that I think have paid dividends in their on-field success. Mike Hart, obviously a big, big hire in what he's done for these running backs. I think it's gonna take a couple years to start recruiting some talent, start recruiting some guys that understand the culture, start getting back to that rainbow warrior pride. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Lisa, that's a great point. It's such important perspective to say, hey, you know, any team that loses their top receiver, their quarterback, your leading rusher, your leading tackler, no team can lose all that and expect to be great the following year. So it's easy for that to get lost in a game like this where you see the score, but when we talked to Timmy Chang, it was 15 minutes before he mentioned anything X's and O's. It was about the pride of the island, the culture teaching these young boys how to become men. I have to say thank you, Coach, because some of the coaches I remember in my, the coaches I remember most in my career, it wasn't ever the X's and O's. I'm really excited to see what Timmy Chang does with this program in the coming years. On third and 10. Yellen is brought down big time, a sack. For Michigan and Ray Sean Penny tracking him down. A loss of 14. Ray Sean Penny, the big fella. During the run, holding defense number one. Oh. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic first down. Well, Marion Walker. Big hole and a big gainer here for Hawaii. Here it goes, Tylen Hines in for the touchdown. What a run. 55 yards. Well, they traveled almost 
4,500 miles out here, 4,500 miles back. Iman Dennis back to receive. That'll be a flag. Kickoff out of bounds. Bob rolled the ball, we place it at the 35-yard line. Davis Warren stays in as her quarterback here for Michigan. And Warren again, another tee ball, going for Walker's way, broken up. Walker's got a lot of speed. That time he got easily behind the Hawaii defense, just left the throw a little short. short. Motoring his way to the 40-yard line. And welcome in the audience who is watching the Indiana football game here at the Big House, a night game. And a big lead here for Michigan over Hawaii. And picking up the first down, Tyler Morris, a freshman. Supposed to be an 8 Eastern kick and pushed it back to about on the 9 o'clock hour. Trying to go up the gut. Isaiah Gash, Davis Horn in at quarterback. Controlling this drive nicely here for Michigan on second and three. Gash pushing towards those sticks. Play clock at three. Snap in time. Dunlap picks up about three yards on that run. You know, in the social media world, everything is so public, but it's easy to lose sight of. It's really easy to lose sight of and forget quickly what Cade did for this Michigan offense. Listen, this guy was elected captain by his teammates for a reason, right? Gash has some room right up the cut, headed for the end zone. Touchdown! Gash with a gash through the Hawaiian defense. Big time run, he gets his chance. Late here in the fourth quarter. What an opportunity, what an awesome play. What an explosive run. A lot of points, yeah it was, and a little bit of history for Big Ten football. Six teams scored 50 or more points today. First time, that is remarkable in the AP poll era. Talking about all the M's, Minnesota, Michigan, Maryland, Michigan State, Purdue, and Rutgers. Both touchdown drives led by Davis Warren, too, by the way, at quarterback. The third quarterback that we've seen here from Michigan tonight. Hawaii has kept its same quarterback. I'm an old man now, all right? I'm retired from the NFL, but I normally go to bed about 9 o'clock. Surprisingly, in this game, past midnight, I am not tired at all, Lisa. I'm still having a great time up here with you. Walker is back in defensively. The bottom of your screen, number one here for Michigan. They're playing both ways here tonight. Yellen gets rid of it. It's a good pass play. A little pass and catch. And nicely done to keep this drive moving here for Hawaii. Run play this time. And just a pickup of a few. Brings up second down. I believe that was Joey Velasquez in on the tackle. Dual sport athlete. Also plays on the baseball team. Smoked a home run. I don't know how you do it. I, I had my hands full just with football, but this guy's playing, dipping his toes. Baseball, football. There he is again. Eric Hall put on about 10 pounds this offseason, so I think his buddy Velasquez is a big part of that. Johnson takes the handoff. Right at the sticks. Hit hard. It'll be a first down. Cradling it that time, James Phillips, and taking a whole slew of blue jerseys with him. Same matchup. You got a linebacker on a running back down here at the bottom of the screen. Same as we saw with Edwards. Let's see if Hawaii goes to it. Empty set, and just the timing not there. We call it middle of the field closed. Single high defense. Well, if your safety's in the middle of the field, the vacancies are often in those seams in between the numbers. Right here, the number's in the hash. That's how you threaten one high defense. 
Johnson and being dragged down and pushed down a couple of Michigan tapplers. From the first whistle to the last, regardless of who's on the field, regardless of the score on the scoreboard. Third and seven, finding his running back, Johnson. Yeah, we're late in this game. It's, it's not a pretty result, but there's still so much value for Timmy Chang and his football team as they go back and watch this film. Hines with the handoff and inside the five yard line. All kinds of space for the far side and a whistle. Trying to push to find six and mark just short. Three tight ends and a fullback for Hawaii. And they give it to Bryant Lille. Oh, it's wow. like a touchdown. Oh. Looking for Jordan Murray. I was wondering why Coach Chang was smirking on the sideline. He had a little <laughs> trickery dialed up there, didn't he? They were trying to go to Jordan Murray. All right, hey, we got three tight ends. We got a fullback in. We're going to run a note. At the last second, Brian tries to flip it to Murray. You can see him right here at the top of the screen, fighting with German Green, and he just doesn't let him get off. Oh, man, I did, you know, that's a play you scheme up all week for the tight ends. You, see, you go into the game, you say, all right, if we can get it inside the five, I'm going to score a touchdown. Fourth and goal. Didn't happen that time. Right, we got another timeout to chat about it. Quarterback competition. Hawaii trying to build its confidence. Another opportunity here. All right, empty formation. So let's see what they go with here. Yellen looking towards his right, and the pass wow. is broken up. A good defensive play for Michigan. Excellent, excellent play by Jaden Hood. Right here, trickling down on the goal line. He sees it's an out. You know, you're sitting here on the goal line. You put your heels on the line. Say, all right, I'm not backing up. And as soon as Hines breaks out, Jaden Hood triggers downfield and breaks it up. Davis Warren again back in at quarterback. And the time is ticking. And the big story, the big headline was the quarterback situation. Everybody wants to know with Michigan, McCarthy, J.J. McCarthy getting his first career start, looking awfully impressive. Yeah, he did. Well, I don't think this is a situation where you need to push one down to build up the other. Okay, J.J. played phenomenal. About as close to perfect as you can get. Cade, you know, frustrating. He didn't, had some pressure in his face. He got sacked a couple times, but as much as we say that, man, let's talk about Cade's character. Let's talk about what he did for this team last year. Let's talk about the fact he was standing on the sideline rooting his teammate J.J. on all day. He's a captain. He's a leader. Week three, who's the starter? Well, I mean, based on today, it's, it's got to be, be J.J., McCarthy, right? right? It's got to be, it's got to be J.J. And, you know, Cade, you were elected captain. Captain means you have to be a leader even when things may not be easy for you and even when things are a bit challenging. So I'll tell you one thing, Kate has shown nobody anything other than he's willing to do whatever it takes for this team to win. JJ, an hour rain delay before your first career start, yet you come out and just take over in the first half. How were you able to maintain your focus despite the circumstances? Um, it was just a little adversity. I mean, whatever happens, happens, and we're just going to roll with it. And we, we've we been kind of waiting for something like that to happen all year or all off season. So it was just something that we were prepared for, and we just naturally took advantage of it. Well, you looked pretty prepared out there. You threw for a couple touchdowns, 229 yards. What was allowing you to have so much success throwing the ball through the air? I mean, it all goes out to my teammates, my coaches. I mean, the scout team all week has done a great job, and it was just an amazing opportunity for them to get in and really show all the hard work that they've been putting in. And, yeah, it's just my receivers played outstanding. My offensive line played outstanding, and the running backs were great, so it just opened up everything. Well, it opened up a lot for you. You put on a great performance in your first career start. How would you assess the body of work you just put out when it comes to the quarterback position starting moving forward at the season? Um, I mean, this was something I was kind of expecting on myself. I, I don't like to have expectations like that, but uh, just playing Hawaii, like just getting it done and handling business, and now we're on to week two or week three. Yeah. Appreciate it, JJ. Thank you so much. Congrats. Thank you.